everybody, it's Lauren from Dressing Dallas. Today, I thought I would share with you guys my April favorites. So now it's May, but I am filming this in April, the end of April. I'm a little behind, I'm sorry. My life is just kind of going cuckoo bananas right now. So this, is, this video is gonna get up a little late, but it's the thought that counts, right? Right? I have a good mix of makeup slash things for you guys. I tried to narrow it down as best I could. I don't want this video to be 20 minutes long because who has time for that, right? Am I right? So let's just get started, shall we? So first off, um, I, as you know, probably if you've been a follower of mine for a long time, I am obsessed with Makeup Geek eyeshadows. They're amazing, pigmented, inexpensive. Um, Marlena, who is the owner of Makeup Geek, she also has a YouTube channel, and I am all for supporting fellow bloggers and YouTubers because we're all hashtag girl bosses, am I right? I have been obsessed lately with her foiled shadows. So it's these ones down here. Um, they're the really, really shiny ones. They're super pigmented. They blend like a dream. You can either put them on your eyelid dry or you can spray a little bit of makeup setting spray on them or on your brush to make it really foil and metallic. Um, this one is definitely my favorite. It's called Grandstand. When you put it on your eye, it comes off a beautiful champagne color. And my favorite metallic color for your eyelid is definitely a champagne metallic color. It's just, it's perfect. And my next favorite one is called Houdini. It's really pretty purple, or purple greenish tealish blue color it's so so like I'm barely touching this and look at that I mean please I have just been wearing these metallic shadows all the time to work to just go to the grocery store I've got so many compliments on them they just work so well with so many people so I have been loving them this month, and I'll probably continue to love them in May and June and July and etc, etc. So this month I've been obsessed with two different highlighters. Um, the first one is the Smashbox highlighter, Soft Lights and Shimmer, and it's just been the perfect spring highlight. I'm just gonna stick some on my cheeks. I mean it's just, it's the perfect, perfect highlighter. You will definitely see more of this bad boy coming up. Next is a Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. I love Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. This one is Apricot. It looks pink. Like, it looks like it could be a blush, almost. But when it comes off, it's like a champagne gold color when you mix them all together. It's just the perfect, most beautiful highlight. Perfect for any makeup look. Um, so... I've, I've just been wearing this so much this month, and I can't stop, and I won't stop, and I heart Bobbi Brown. Heart. So I only have one cheek product this month. Um, lately, I have been absolutely, absolutely loving cream blushes. They blend so, so well on the skin. Um, my favorite are the Josie Maron Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gel. Jolly, gully, something. This. Um, this color is called Vacay Rose, and it looks purple when you look at it, but when you get it on the cheeks, when you stipple it on the cheeks, it's just this really pretty plummy pink color. And what I love about these Josie Maron blushes is they feel weightless and they blend. I just use a stippling brush to get these on my cheeks. I just, I have four of the Josie Maron colors, but this one's definitely been my favorite because it's just a really unique color. It's really purpley, but it, it, and it looks like it would be a fall color, but it's not. It's perfect for year round. So I have two foundation, I have a foundation product and a concealer product that my favorites this month. And I already talked about them, but I just need to reiterate how much I absolutely love them. 
The first one is the Naked, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And my color is in light natural. It's just the most creamy, beautiful concealer you'll ever use. It's definitely replaced my other concealers for sure. I talked about this a ton in my last video, but it's the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. And I've been loving this, especially because I have been adding these little drops to my primers. So I haven't even been really wearing foundation. I've just been mixing my primers with this and making it into a foundation. And it works so well, especially because it's starting to get kind of hot here in Dallas. And I really don't like wearing heavy full coverage foundations in the summer because I feel like I'm like melting. So this has just been working out so well for me. If you haven't checked these out, definitely go to Sephora and see if you can get a sample to take home because I mean, this is so revolutionary I feel like and amazing for the makeup industry. I just want all of my beautiful friends and followers to have this. My last products for makeup um, are lip products. I've been loving these three lip liners. They're all from Unique. Um, the first one is Perky, which is just this really pretty, like, bright pink color. I've been really loving wearing bright pink lips in the summer. I mean, it's just so fun. Um, so that's Perky. The next one is called Pouty. And this is really like a nude pink, kind of Kylie Jenner s color. I have been I've been loving this color year round right now. So that second one is pouty. It's a really true nude color. And the third one is called posh, like posh spice. Who is my favorite spice girl? Um, and this one is kind of like a berry pink. It's a really I've never seen a color like this be honest and I'm obsessed with it um, and it's it looks matte to me all these look matte just in case you were wondering that is posh see it's just a really nice berry color and I love wearing berry colors in the spring even though spring and summer is known for like corals and nude pinks and purples you know but I still have my berries on my next two lip products come from Dose of Colors and they are these matte lipsticks. I am obsessed with liquid lipsticks. They go on so pigmented and then they dry matte. The only problem is after a couple hours your lips feel like there's no, no moisture so I have to put chapstick on and like reapply. So that's the only annoying part. But my two favorite colors this month are like bright Barbie colors and they're just amazing. So this pink one is called Pinky Promise and this one is called Purple Rain and this is what the pink one looks like. I'll swatch it. I mean it's they're so pigmented you barely need any. Here's the purple. Oh I'm obsessed with the purple one. I mean if you can wear a purple lip, wear a purple lip. So those are the two colors. As you can see they're super pigmented. I'm so obsessed with that purple one. I mean, come on. So my last four makeup products from my favorites, um, they come from the Maybelline Color Sensational line, the new Rebel Bloom lipsticks. And if you missed it on my blog, I did a full post on swatches and what they look like. They're all amazing. I'm obsessed with every single one. And the best part is Maybelline lipsticks are like, what, seven, eight bucks. So you can't beat the price. So this month, my favorites, I have a good array of colors, of course. This one really matches my purple theme that I have going on. Um, this color is called Lilac Flush, and it is just a true lilac color. Swatch it. And it's not super bright, so it's just like... This really, really pretty lilac color. And there's what that looks like. And it almost looks pink, but it's it's very lilac. Next color is called Power Peony. And it's it's kind of a purpley pink, but it's definitely more of a pink than the lilac. I'll swatch that on my arm. 
So see, as you can see, with that next to it, you can definitely tell that that one is lilac. That one is pink, and that one is lilac. This one is probably my favorite, and it's Blushing Bud. And this one is like a nude pink because... Do I really need to say it on camera again? I love nude pink! Wow, my swatches are just like moving up. The last one is called Peach Poppy, and it's like a true peach pink. You can't go wrong with this color in the summer. And that's what that looks like. Cute, right? It's pretty normal for a makeup artist. If you're a makeup artist, you're probably laughing at this right now because you're like, yeah, my arm looks like that all the time. So next I have non-makeup items and I'm so, these are so cute. I'm obsessed with them. Like how many times are we going to say obsessed with in this video? I don't know, but just first items, they are my Lily Pulitzer for Target hair items. If you weren't able to go pick these up, I feel, I'm so sorry, I feel so bad that, I mean, but they're probably on eBay right now for more expensive, obviously. These are the hair ties that I picked up, these blue ones, pink and green, and then of course the cute pineapple colors. And I actually have more packs of these, these ones are the unopened ones, <laughs> just in case you're wondering. But they, these are so stretchy and they work so well with my hair. And they're just like the cutest colors of life. So those are the hair ties. And then these are the headbands that I picked up both colors because I couldn't choose. And they're both so cute. And I wear a high bun in my hair all the time during the spring and summer because it's just too hot to wear my hair down. And these work so well with my hair and they're so cute. This one is white and gold, and this one is like pink and gold. So if you weren't able to hop on the hashtag Lily for Target, I'm sorry. It was really fun to go get it. My next items, I'm so incredibly pumped for. I saw these on a Facebook ad, I think. They just popped up on my feed, and I instantly was like, oh my gosh, Jean, yes. So these are bun clips. So I have this kind of like art deco one, this silvery feathery looking one, and then just like this quartz jeweled one. And what you do, if you wear high buns a lot like I do, you just kind of stick this in the top of your bun. So I kind of have like a half bun right here, so I'll show you. So you kind of like, you just stick it in your bun and it's like this cute decoration for your bun. And I know you can get other clips to just stick into your bun, but like these stick up and kind of like, they're kind of like mini crowns. I mean, but I'm sure you will see them on my blog because I'm going to be wearing them all summer and I really want to pick up some more. And I will link them down below where I got them because they're just too amazing. Everyone needs them in their life. My last two items for favorites um, are kind of random, but awesome. So the first is a pair of sunglasses. I got these from Urban Outfitters. Oh, hey, ring light. <laughs> um, and I think they're just the, the cutest. I love the tortoise pattern for glasses and sunglasses. And these are just like the cutest. They're so big. There's I love huge giant sunglasses, especially when I don't wear makeup. But anyways, these, I'm obsessed with these sunglasses. They have replaced my Ray-Bans for this summer. And these were only like $17 compared to the Ray-Bans, which we all know how much Ray-Bans are. I just think they fit my face so perfectly. And I love them. And yeah, Urban Outfitters. They definitely have the cutest sunglasses. My last item for favorites is so incredibly random. But I was in Francesca's a couple weeks ago, just kind of, I love their little trinkets they have. I was in there and I was checking out, buying a purse, and I saw this at the cash register. And it's my symbol, it's my Dressing Dallas logo, how cute is that? It's just a little like jewelry dish, I guess, and it's a little Texas with a heart where Dallas is. And I just flipped my lid because I was like, this is my logo, like this is my logo right here, Dressing Dallas. And even if you're just from Texas or Dallas, 
you need this because it's just so cute. I mean, look at it. It's got a little heart with calluses. So cute. So that is it for my April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found some really cute products that you'd like to check out. And of course, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And of course, as always, check me out on my blog, dressingdallas.com, and hit me up on all the social media because I love talking to you people. So definitely message me, comment, snap me, snap me, Snapchat me, you know what it means. I love hearing from you guys because you guys are just, you are why I do this. I love the community. So please reach out, say hey, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Love you all. Bye.